Welcome to Atwater Village. My name is Mark Motonaga, Creative Director and Partner at Rios in Los Angeles. Come on in for a tour. We really wanted to create an outdoor space that you entered into, which really functions as an outdoor foyer, therefore biasing both the indoor and outdoors equally. These framing moments here at the entry and at the backyard really sort of give you a sense of entering different rooms. Hi, I wanted to introduce you to my partner, Guy. Hi, welcome to our house. Enjoy the tour. When we started designing the house, what we wanted to do was reverse the traditional California bungalow. We moved all of the private spaces to the front and brought all of the public spaces to the back to create sort of a hub where the great room could look out into the back garden as well as to the entry courtyard. And this allowed us to focus in on creating really clear moments where indoor and outdoor was brought together in a different way than what is traditionally thought of as the California indoor-outdoor experience. Anchoring the whole space is a brass island that created a contrast to the more industrial shelving that is in the back. Another feature of the living room is the large window wall which bridges between indoor and outdoor, focuses the light and allows for the interplay of shadows and direct light in the house as the seasons change. This play with light really then allowed us to choose a rich color for the interior, which tries to blend both sky and the green of the plant material into one experience. As we move to the bedroom, the ceiling is lower and really reflects sort of a different scale so that you get this sort of explosion of space. Off to the left, you've got the guest room and guest bath. As we move into the main bedroom, the color is a peony pink and it was selected because we wanted to have a complementary color to the teal in the main room. In the main bath, we've created a slightly larger space since it is such an important part of daily ritual. The shower itself has a light shaft that really allows light to enter and focus in different ways throughout the day. The floor is made out of a concrete tile. We loved because it ages and shows wear a lot easier than porcelain and we wanted that sort of lived-in feel. So as we move to the backyard, Again, you can see the frames really are structural. They really form the buttress that helps us keep the large open spaces on the interior. Out back, we've created a dining area for six to eight people, as well as a lounge area. In the middle of the courtyard, we've created a pool that we've worked really hard to pull the plant material all the way up to the edges to really make it feel like a pond in the middle of the wilderness. We've brought in large sycamore trees that create a sense of shade and shadow that allow for an interplay with the exterior and the interior of the house, as well as crepe myrtle trees towards the rear that create screening and allow for a different scale as the perspective pulls back. 